G'day mates and welcome back to Straya. The weather is really nice out here right now. We're gonna continue on with the missions from last time, and by continue on I mean... I actually played this game for like six more hours, completed the entire campaign, and then replayed the entire game because I lost the original recording. So I had to play all of the missions back up to where I am now. Another quite important note is that you actually may not have seen the first video of this series because YouTube has demonetized it. There we go. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, it's now linked in the video. Go click the button there. I think it's a pretty good video. I think it's... It's full of that. It's full of that happening. All right. Uh, but YouTube strongly dislikes when I, uh, when I say Cairns, the, uh, the, the, the uh, place in the northeast of Australia. Uh, so, so I'm not allowed to say Cairns at any one point. So if you ever hear me suddenly cut out for a reason, it's because I've instinctively said Cairns when I'm simply referring to people who piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kanz, you're taking one for the team there, mate. So obviously I've completed the game, I know what's coming for all the missions, but uh, clearly I think they're worth showing because I'm actually playing through the entire game again just to get to show you them. Because I can't actually just reset the missions or whatever, which is kind of a little frustrating. Eh, yeah, bunyip, bunyip. Two facts about the bunyip. If you're looking at it when it does its scream, it will hypnotize you. Second fact about the bunyip. It can heal in water. Hello, Mr. Bunyip. That is an impenetrable tree. Excuse me, Mr. Bunyip. Right. It's nice to see that it seems to be stuck in the waters and I can actually out damage it, but uh, I don't think that's how we want to do this. Let me see if I can't. Yeah, come on, mate. Oh no. Oh no, it's doing the scream. No! No! No, I'm gonna. F oh, I might just die here. Piss off, you Bunyip bastard! Ah. Nope! Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Don't like that noise. Piss off, you Cairns, the northeast of Australia. Popular tourist destination for no other reason than it's the northeast of Australia. Oh, no, 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 I was, I was looking away, mate. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. All right, he's coming at me. Rocky shit! Run away! Oh, I dodged you, mate. Come on, stop hiding in the water. Oh, out on that. What? Why can't I... Gun? Hello? Okay, that was terrifying. No, I'd rather not, mate. I just, I'd simply rather not. Run away. Nope, nope, not looking at you. Not looking at you. I am not looking at you. Get away with your voodoo shit. I'm simply gonna, simply gonna go over here. Oh, oh, he can simply go over here. Yeah, nah, mate. Yeah, nah. Oh, fuck off, spider. I got a bigger job. No. No, I'm not looking at you. I'm not, I wasn't looking at you. I wasn't, you can't get me. You can't, you legally cannot hypnotize me. Get fucked, idiot. Why was that so much harder the second time around? All right. Okay, time to go to Lake Disappointment, which is the longest stock route in the world. And apparently, there's cannibal creatures that live beneath the surface of Lake Disappointment. Hey, there you go. Down there's Lake Disappointment. Just a big, ugly piece of shit. That, that is actually a real lake, by the way. In Australia, we genuinely have a lake called Lake Disappointment because the explorer that found it went, well, this fucking sucks. Ah, water. Delicious. All right, what you got for this one, mate? I checked the well. Jesus! Oh, God, if he jumps at me like that. Oh, God, yeah, they're all over me, right. So these are the cannibal creatures. Fun fact, they appear to share the bloody AI with, uh, with koalas. Now, here's the beautiful place known as Lake Disappointment. And you'll notice these little bastards popping out of the ground. Have a look at this, right? If we have a wait, we have a look. I don't even care to stop to fight you. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Yes! We made it to where the sun never sets. Now, I wanted to come here for one very good reason. All right, this is the coolest place in this whole video game because you're about to see something wild. All right, I must find and touch the Min Min to leave this place. Here's the thing. See that? Look at that. It's that's a hill in the distance. Isn't that crazy? You might notice that hill's moving. The hill's a giant snake. That's pretty bloody cool, don't you reckon? There's- oh my god, I've actually seen them- I've never actually escaped from here before. Every time I've come here before, I've died. Oh, they've got vampires in here? You fight a bunch of these later on in the campaign. Uh, there we go. 
The Campagne, as some would say. There we go. Come on, Min Min. I want to go back home, mate. Oh, I can hear people behind me, mate. I don't like that. I'm going to toss a dynamite at my feet. Woo! Oh my god, I killed all of them. I'm a bloody legend. You can search the bodies around here as well. But, oh shit. Oh. But survival here ain't the easiest. I'm going for the Min Min. Yeah, there's a vampires to the right. Oh, bugger me! No! Not today! The Min Min takes me. Oh, if you die, uh, Nev finds you instead. Where's the Min Min taking me? Oh. I want to go back here. This place fucking sucks. Hey, Min Min, take me somewhere else. I do like the sun setting over Uluru, or rising over Uluru. That's pretty cool. Anyway, bye. Oh, sweet. Where'd you take me this time? Oh, straight back to the pub. Thank you, Min Min. That is really cool, though. And you don't ever actually get a mission directly to go to the where, you know, land where the sun never sets. So that's a pretty awesome secret to find. That you can actually go down into uh, Lake Disappointment and just, you know, see a giant... I actually went up and touched the snake last time, but uh, that just led me, to, you know, led to me getting killed because I just got cornered by all the bloody uh, cannibal creatures down there whose names I'm still forgetting how to pronounce. Uh, what the fuck? Hello? Did he just, like, follow me home? Alright, next job is Stranger Things. CSIRO has sent a message about some strange sounds coming from the dish east of the dam. Uh, from the dam, east of the dish, rather. Because I do not switch particles in any of my sentences. I never know that's what particles mean. That just sounds vaguely intelligent. Listen, I'm, I'm not a- I'm not a fucking language boy, alright? I try my best. I try my best, okay? But I'm from Australia. We have a natural debuff to that. <laughs> Listen, we reduce most things to a few sounds at best. Fuck words. We've removed any need for them. Everyone knows what you're saying when you're saying, Oh, mate, I'm going down to the servo tomorrow to get a dog's eye with dead horse for an Irish scholar. And right, there you go. Problem solved. Simple as that. Language. Communication. Hey, where is my fucking horse? Seriously, though, the funniest part about this whole thing was uh, seeing all the comments in the last video that are like, Oh my god, Rumi went so Australian when he played that game. And I'm like, for a few scenes, yeah, when I'm explaining like various Australian things, but... I don't think my accent really changed at all, lads. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna say them the most Aussie Aussie out there, because I got farmers for rallies who are, you know, their accents are thicker than fucking cowpats, you know. But, uh... I, I've always been so... Th I've got this weird thing where whenever I'm in Australia, Especially when I was younger, because I was obviously trying to make- I don't- If you don't know, this voice is all practiced, in the sense of I was actively attempting for a very long time- Hey look, the, uh, the, the dish. To not have a dog shit voice, because I've been doing YouTube since I was like 12, and so I used to sound like this, and I- I always wanted to make YouTube videos and not sound like a fucking squeaker! So I'd always practice a deep voice, one of the nicest memories I have, and I still remember to this day, I was working in a fish and shippy. And I answer the phone, I'm like, oh hello, you know, fish and chip store, what can I get you? And, uh, the lady on the other end of the line goes, Ooh, you've got a very nice voice. You could do radio. And I was just like, oh, yeah. this is like this old woman who was like, you know, ordering some fish and chips. I was like, God, God, thank you. Thank you. I, I love that compliment. I love that compliment so much. I still remember it to this day. But anyway, so because of that, if you want to do a deep voice, the Australian accent. God, we're really in the fucking. That, that wasn't comfortable. Anyway, I was going to say we're really in the shadow of the dam right here. But no, the, the Australian accent really doesn't uh, fit that well with a deep voice, you know, because the Australian accent by nature is a nasal accent. And it's only a Gillard, as a reference that no one else but Australians is going to get. Um, but, you know, you got that kind of nasal tone, which doesn't work great when you're trying to do a, a deep voice. Oh, yeah, you know, trying to do the grizzle. Oh, man. Oh, oh. So I always ended up sounding British because, you know, whenever you do a deep voice and you remove the nasal tones, you just, you just sound British whenever you're doing an Australian accent. So... You know, you know, everyone from Australia thought I was British, but everyone overseas was, without a doubt, oh, this man is absolutely an Australian. Jesus Christ, the sun's setting quick. That's actually kind of fucking spooky. So yeah, I've, I've always had that weird thing when I was, uh, when I was, you know, kind of 18 to 20, kind of traveling around the world. I was like, oh, you know, Australians all think I'm British whenever I travel around Australia. And all the bloody, uh, yep, all the foreigners when I was overseas would think I was, uh, oh, Jesus, what, what the fuck am I hearing? Would think I'm Australian. Seriously, what? What the fuck? Where are you? You know what? I hate you and I'm gonna get on my horse. Ah, you fuck! It was a moza. There we go. Actually, what that monster's called as well. It, it jumps on your face. It's a giant mosquito. Uh, thankfully, they don't exist in real life. Or so they want you to think. Hey, what the fuck are you? 
It's not possible, but this looks like some cross between a dingo and an echidna and something else. We'll have to get some tests done, bring it back to the dock for an, uh, for an examination. Yeah, and then its mum shows up. I actually have no idea what this is in reference to. I'm sure it's in reference to something, but it looks just like a real standard horror movie. Look at this thing. What the fuck are you? Why do you look like a... Oh, oh. Mate. Oh, fuck off, you moz- <clears throat> Sorry, welcome back from that ad break. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know, it just looks like a bit like a warg. I don't know what the fuck this is meant to be. I don't know, anyway. That whole story was done, by the way, it was just started by me saying, I don't think I, my accent changed that much in the video. I think it was just because I was talking about Australia that people went, Oh my god, he's Australian, I forgot! And, you know, and the fact that I know about Australia. Which, I mean, if, if you talk about Australia and you say Australian things and town names, you're gonna sound more Australian. There you go. Australia. My god, my horse can fucking fly. I'm the man from Snowy River. Contact! Now this... This was the reason that I decided this absolutely had to be re-recorded. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Wolf Creek Crater. Are you ready? Because you're not. You weren't expecting that, were you? <gasps> oh. Yeah, it's just a giant alien spaceship. Just out of the crater. I guess maybe is this in reference to that one, like, Japanese death cult that potentially detonated a nuke in Australia, which is a thing that happened at one point, by the way. Okay, check this out, right? That's, like, very clearly an alien, right? If you walk up to him, he runs away. So if you shoot him, he flies away. I've already tried that, don't worry. Uh, but... Wander up to the bastard. That definitely looks like a Unity Store asset, right? Am I going insane? You're a big scary alien, aren't you? Yeah. Nice and calm now. Nice and- Oh! There he goes. Yeah, he, he flies up. And now, we have to kill a bunch of- A spider. <laughs> and by uh, a spider, I mean a bunch of these fucking things. This fight is honestly a cake war compared to the emu war. A fucking kangaroo got involved! There we go. What the hell was that? Well done, mate. And then it just, uh... It just fucks off. Uh, yeah, this platform sinks into the sand and it just fucks off into the sky. There you go. That's that quest done. That's literally the entire quest. There you go. Just aliens just appear and then you just fuck off. I don't know why, but I like that so much. It caught me so incredibly off guard that that of all... Jesus Christ, God really hates Australians. God hates Australia. But yeah, just that that of all things would occur. Like, why? Why would there be an alien spaceship? Why would, why would I just suddenly get attacked? And the funniest thing is that you just... Oh, fuck off. Is that you just, uh, you know, teleport in to the place using the car and suddenly you see an alien. Beautiful waters. There we go. And that is a shark. A shark that you can go out and just touch. Uh, but if you touch his mouth... There we go. Look at this boy. You can't kill him. Believe me, I've tried. But uh, if you touch his mouth, uh, you will die instantly. He will kill you. You will be eaten. Looks bad. Find his boat. You ready for this? Oh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Okay, so you hit a crab cage. Now you have to find his boat. You hear that little grumble? That's an unhappy croc in the water. Go. Just fucking leg it, mate. Go. Ooh. There's the croc. And there's our boy. Find his hat. Yeah, mate. Knew you were coming for me. Can I not? Can I not gun you down, mate? Yeah, get fucked, idiot. Get fucked. All right, this job is to go kill some vampires who are roaming through the skies. They fear for the children, do they? Ah, uh, there's one. As you can see, these guys die surprisingly easy. In fact, they're not even that aggressive. These bloody galahs are more aggressive than them. You flaming galah. Good old Alfie Stewart. Hey. See, if you're just riding on a horse, almost nothing in this game can actually kill you. Nelly is so good. Ooh, see, it is kind of creepy when they do that. 
And then they, they drink your blood, and then you wait, and then you wait, and then they leave you, and then you shoot their fucking head off. And pull! <laughs> Finally! God, that is probably one of the worst missions in this game. Oh. Okay, last mission of this game, we're gonna find and burn five hives in the sugar mill. Now, for some reason, the bees have gone mute and have those giant aliens with them. There's a simple strategy for this mission. Simply run faster than the bees can. Flames all the way through. There we go, just like back in Nam. That's the last job for now. Uh, there will be no more jobs for cash. New jobs will be available in future updates. There we go. That was Straya. I hope you guys all enjoyed, because I definitely did. I enjoyed it enough to play it two times, which, to be fair, is very, very rare for me games these days. Like, I, I did genuinely consider just like, oh, fuck it, you know, toss it in the bin, I'll play something else. Because I much prefer, you know, first-time reactions. I do think my first-time reaction to the fucking giant spaceship was a lot funnier. But, uh... Having to replay the game over, it's it's not bad. It definitely has a lot of... Uh, probably, I mean, definitely second time around, obviously, playing. It, it's not got replayability, I'll say that much. Fuck off, mate. It very much relies on the whole, you know, what's coming up next. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. But the actual overall gameplay and everything's pretty fucking neat. There's just more stuff here than you'd expect, and I'm keen to see what you can do with more. I, I think it just needs more story missions or, honestly, more than anything, like... Just more quicker ways to travel the map or like, you know, like big traveling map missions. Because a lot of the missions are just too often go all the way across the map, do a single task, go all the way back across the map to, you know, oh, 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 hang on. Where are you? You fucking tried to whiplash me there. Anyway, a lot of them are just, yeah, go to a single place and then return to the pub. Go to the single place, return to the pub. Obviously, you can use the phone to call them, but it's just a lot of going to single places. Very little actual traveling in all of the missions, which is where a lot of the fun in the game is. And in fact... We've not actually triggered one thing, so I'm, just, I'm gonna do a quick ride around. I'm gonna go, go walk about and, uh, and see if I can't trigger this one thing I really want to show you guys. Alright, well, I seem to be unable to trigger it, but I know it can happen. Uh, there is just a random chance that while you're running around, like one of the random encounters that can happen, is that the fucking spaceship flies back down and just starts attacking you with the bugs, with the flying bugs. It just kind of hovers over you and spawns some flying bugs and attacks you and then fucks off once you kill them. That, uh... That is a hilarious thing to watch, because it straight up just flies, like, out of the sky and hovers over you. It is, uh, really good fun to watch, but, uh, don't seem to be able to trigger it. it makes me kind of sad. Alright, well, until next time, everyone, thank you all for watching. This has been Straya, and, uh... Oh. Sounds like there's a storm coming. Maybe you should... I I fuck off, you bloody magpie! Wait, I just mustered a fucking cattle? Really? Oh, wait, fuck off, you...